Hello there! Welcome to a new video of this channel. Today, I am gonna solve the Marty O'Donnell easter egg on Halo 3. If you guys didn't know, Bungie way back on the Halo 3 days, they put it that I would have been your daddy at school in the game. It was a school that was already on Halo 2, but here is pretty different. Well, that is called no one could ever solve it how to solve how to find the scope until some hackers got into the game's code and found a way to make it putting away all the mystery around this a few weeks, weeks ago the channel rocket slot made a research video of this scope and way to solve it in a natural way until a few days they submitted it in that case marty o'donnell started like a cut off quads for a for easter egg hunters to solve it because look at this lot was really near to solve it he said that if you find the easter egg or solve it really is the case you win something or that marty said on his twitter so today i am gonna solve this whole easter egg i hope this is correct and with no more things to say let's jump into it so this is Zerg has to be activated by the mission The Covenant by passing through the rings that are in the final section of the mission where you kill truth. But first, I've got something to show you up first. Before entering the section of the Citadel, after you beat the two scarabs, you have to go to this part, where the song Siege of Madrigal will be reproduced. This easter egg was found way back in 2007. The interesting part is that this song reproduces in the exact part where the player spawns, well not exactly there but in a di diagonal way, I understand myself. It is on the left side of the citadel. The Siege of Madrigal song can be heard in the Halo team song of Halo Combat Evolved. Now, let's go to the real part of the easter egg. The Citadel. At the initial cutscene where Truth is activating the rings and the camera passes way through those, you can hear that the rings reproduce a very soft note. Now, if you listen carefully, you can hear that it goes from the highest note to the lowest note, meaning that it is part of a key signature. Also, for me, it sounds a bit familiar to the Never Forget theme. There are seven notes, Bungie's favorite number, and for the track, you need to pass through seven rings. At the moment of Halo 3, there are seven rings, so or seven Halo rings. And the final melody of the Halo theme are seven notes. Also, I will have been your daddy is a sentence of seven syllables. Very interesting, right? Well, this is very important for the research. And then you will see why. Now, at the cutscene where the Arbiter kills Truth, if you listen carefully, you can hear the final part of the Halo theme. Another interesting detail. Now, after you open way through the citadel, before you go away of here, you have to go through the rings in an order called 4654534. Now, this is something way more depth. If you convert these numbers to the B minor scale and you reproduce them, you can hear the final part of the Halo theme. Here's an example. Not yet 
underrated. Another interesting detail is that the, this ring sequence is that you start in installation 04 or Note 4, the first Halo ring we played way back on Halo Combat Evolved. We also finish on installation 04, because at the moment of Halo 3 was going to be the last Halo game, and installation 04B is where we made the Warthog run, or the final Warthog run of Halo 3. Now, how do we knew this order? The order of the melodies. Well, if you get closely enough to each hologram of the Halo rings, you can hear a melody. A note, and here's an example. So, when you start at the Citadel, the first Halo ring that you go through, you can hear a very soft melody. This one equals in the B minor scale to 1. So the next ring will be 2, and there it goes like some kind of buckle. So, if we follow this logic, the ring next to the elevator will equal to 1, or F. The ring in red will be 4 or B, and the ring next to the throne will be 7, or E, and as I said before, we, we convert this scale of, to the rings, and we have the sequence. We have this confirmation by some runes that look pretty pretty weird, but if we convert them in the notes, they equal to B, to C, etc. These are ways down the hologram of the rings, well. You look up and you see them, you zoom and you can see them, it, it, it is kind of logic, so that's like, for me, a confirmation. So let's go through the rings now. After we pass through them, we go to the part where I say it was left diagonal to the part where we spawn. Right in front of the activation part of all the Halo rings, there will be our skull waiting for us. When we collect it, the Halo theme we reproduce. With this, we can hear at the end the melody that we did that we did through passing through these rings. Also, the rings 
will unlike a celebration that you found this hard skull. And from my perspective, this is the whole explanation of this easter egg. Now, while I was recording this video, Marchi announced in Twitter the winner, Quark, who made a very very good point on remarking that notes can be found on the fourth Halo ring by using its scattered pieces under circle of fives of fifths, which equal to the notes the rings produce. Good, good catch, pal. I still couldn't find and couldn't win, but I still feel happy for you. This was my research, but I never thought on that. And still, it would make me very happy if at least I knew by Marchi that my video is correct or not. So this was the video for today guys, hope you enjoyed, leave your opinions down in the comments and see you on the next one, bye!